Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about personalization using Context Hub in AM 6.4. So, Context Hub, uh, very first time Context Hub come in AM 6.2, and before that. Uh, client context was famous for personalization now client context is being deprecated or it is not recommended by adobe to use so i have never used client context but i have used uh, context hub and it is very amazing and very very easy to use so in this blog we will talk about what all are out of the box things in personalization using context hub so personalization means to show the right content to the right people so the question came in your mind like from where we get the information of the user on the basis of which we personalize the content so yes we have context hub stores exist in the browser in a so this is an am feature obviously so if you open a page uh, any page uh, maybe men and you go to the inspect element and go to the application and local storage you can see one object context of personalization and this is the store where we store the information of the visiting user so what kind of information we can store maybe and the geolocation so on the basis of location we can personalize the content on the basis of surfer info surfer information means on which browser uh, user is visiting the website which operating system he or she is using which kind of resolution of devices they are using uh, many many more things on the basis of uh, a metadata description title of a page so many things we can use to personalize the content so these all are out of the box stores available so uh, now audiences so or now we need to cre create audiences in personalization so you must be thinking what are audiences so audiences are the conditions on the basis of which we personalize the content so when the conditions get true we show or hide some content so before creating personalization let's create a complete new project so go here tools configuration browser uh, create so maybe test uh, or would love to do like this test project and choose context of segment and then properties then you change a nice name because if you give space in the title it will create a node with some Funds or some percentage extra characters okay so this is how i created my project now i go to personalization go to my audiences and now you can see a test project already here so now and here i'm gonna create some segments or you can say audiences also so uh, first let me understand you my use case my use case is i have two audience actually three audience one is the uh, who the, the people who are visiting through chrome browser a second is the people who are visiting from mozilla firefox browser and third one are defaulters so in the in the uh, in the screen in the image you can see that there is a surfer info out of the box object which contains the uh, browser information so on the basis of which i'm gonna put condition so first i'm gonna put chrome hyphen users right now my boot factor is zero no need to do anything in this case so edit now there is editor you can drag and drop components there's so many components we're gonna discuss them later on so right now i need comparison property value so here i'm gonna put something like surfer info so right if you want to see my browser family is following a hierarchy surfer info slash browser slash family so in the same way i will choose my property name here it will come as equal i can put auto detect here or i can choose my string also here value chrome so if you, you choose from see my segment is getting resolved if you see using inspect element also go to the context of object there is a stored available segmentation so here you can also see that this segment is getting resolved now next is create context of segment so firefox users okay okay again 
सेम प्रोसीजर सेम प्रोसीजर ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप द कंपोनेंट सर्फर इनफो स्लैश ब्राउजर स्लैश फैमिली इक्वल हियर इट इज कमिंग लाइक स्ट्रिंग एंड हियर फायरफॉक्स ओके यू कैन सी नाउ देर इज नो बैकग्राउंड ग्रीन कलर बट इफ वी ओपन this particular segment in actual browser in my firefox browser don't allow no image see my green uh, this is my background okay now my audience is are ready so my next step is creating activities so how to create activities go to personalization activities so there is already a test project available here let me delete and i think i created uh, previously this so let's create completely new brand so test project okay now in the test project i need to create an activity so activity is a collection of segments so there are so many segments so let's uh, it's just collection of segment to a particular activity so maybe we call it as browser activities so next now add uh, add audience so here we will add chrome users and we will add fire fire now here give a nice name so i will prefer the same name chrome users no need to remember so many things this is the same name would be easier for me next here you have options you can tell like when you want to start this activity you can specify date and time also and here also and priority also i don't need all these things so i'm not choosing anything okay now fine now i am ready to create the actual content personalize content so now let me open a page open any page maybe this men page this looks to be my favorite one so let's go to the uh, men page and uh, first you need to uh, allow segments for this particular page enable segments because this is a revi detail project and the uh, if we uh, inherit from the parents so they are taking the segments of v detail so now i will point to segments of my test projects because i don't have my own page right now so okay now i enabled the segments on this page and if you go to the inspect element you would have been seen that my chrome segment is getting resolved see okay now i am ready to personalize my content so let me just delete this component okay okay now i will drag and drop image component okay so let me add or a default uh, default default content for image component okay so now go to the targeting mode targeting mode and test project browser activity start so you have already seen i added two segments at that time So now default content is this. Now for Chrome user, I want to so I'll standing on default. I will target this and I will target this. So I want to target two components. Okay. So for Chrome users, I want to configure something like Chrome users. Let me check my. my content is changing and add new image for chrome also let's me add some t-shirt person okay now go to firefox change the content for firefox also so i will add content firefox users okay seems to be fine now i will change image for 
my Firefox browser. Let's add shoes. So now if you can see for default, there is a main stop story is this. For Chrome, I have this and this and for Firefox, I have this and this. Now everything is fine. Next, next, next. Now everything is done. So if you go and check the page in view as published, so you will see Chrome users and you will see the image here also. If you open the same page in the Firefox browser, let's see what comes. See Firefox users and shoes. And if you open the same page in Edge browser, browser then see, this is my content. So you can see, you are able to see different content on different browser. So this is how personalization works in AEM using context hub. I have mentioned one more uh, heading in this uh, blog which is trade off of personalization. Actually there is a problem in AEM personalization using context hub. I'm not sure whether this problem was also exist in client context also but see if you refresh the page and you have all the way down and like first it load default content and then it will personalize the content so when i asked adobe regarding this then they said yes this is expected so actually their expectations are a bit justified also because when you load a page first it load context of library then it just uh, load all the stores and it check okay which segment is getting resolved and then it shows the content so all these things are running through JavaScript and it takes time so that's why there is a lag first it loads the default content and later on it will uh, load the actual personalized content from the developer point of view yes it is justified but from the end user perspective it is spoiling the user experience also so before using this personalization you need to know the trade-off also because are you really really want this to be happen on your website so if you are okay with this lag just go with the context of in personalization uh, next is myths about personalization using context of there are few myths regarding personalization the people who don't know personalization so well they understand that they can change the components also so th their their uh, mindset is if in the default one you are showing text component here for the Chrome users, you can show any other component here. For the Firefox, you can show any other component here. So no, it is not possible. You can only change the value of the content, but you cannot change the components. And the next point is you cannot even delete the component for a specific audience. So if your one audience is having A and B two components, so your whole audience should be having the same uh, number of components. So these are all myths. So please don't consider these things if somebody says that this happens. So please don't consider. Uh, so this is all about my first blog in Context Hub. So my upcoming blogs will be regarding boost factor, offers and all the components you have seen while configuring uh, all these components. So please stay tuned. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.